Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party on, excellent. 1974, the Class A Rhapsody, the official car of Huge Pizza, ma'am. It's just a small car, it needs no introduction, because it's kind of small, kind of wide, not too bad. I can't lie, any way the car drives doesn't really matter to me, to me, dun 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 Hold up, before you click out the video, I know what you're thinking. This is an old car, Snazzy. We want to gesture. You promised. I did. And I'll make sure I'll get to it soon. Now, most of you will probably know what car this is based on. And if you don't, you know, probably recognize it from the 1992 movie Wayne's World. Now, of course, the name of the car itself and the opening ditty I did in the beginning were both inspired from the song from Wayne's World, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. In fact, in the Laws and the Dan version of this car, if you look in the interior, there is an Easter egg to Wayne's World inside the car itself. The Rhapsody was first introduced in, to GTA in the Lost in the Dam DLC for GTA 4. It may return to GTA Online in the I'm Not a Hipster update in 2014. If you may have not already guessed already, the Rhapsody is based on the infamous AMC Pacer with a bit of Volkswagen Golf MK1 at the front end. In game, the car is rear drive and is powered by a double overhead cam V8. Well, as what is the model in game anyway. However, as I stated in previous videos, this is most likely Ross from using assets due to the limitations of the previous hardware. Seeing this car was released before GTA 5 was released for next gen. The real car power attributed a V6 motor, although in reality, it was supposed to feature a rotary engine. However, I'm not here to talk about the Pacer, I'm here to talk about the Rhapsody. If you'd like to know more about the Pacer, I've left a link in the description about the real life variant of this car, the Pacer itself. As for handling, the car is very good. The Rhapsody is also one of the only compacts in its class besides the Tonto to be strictly real wheel drive. So if you fancy power sliding, then it shouldn't be a problem. From my personal experience, the car has a very nimble feel to it and has very good acceleration. In fact, on Brohe 122's best lap times in the compact class, the Rhapsody made second place. However, this was made before the Weenie Izzy Classic was released, so I'm fairly certain it might have been bumped down to third place by now. Overall, the Rhapsody is a decent, well-rounded little compact. It's quick, it's lightweight, and even though it's only 140k, it'll never keep up in a race. I do really like this car because of the look and style of it. I know it's funny because it's based on, a, on the Pacer, which used to be a well-loved car back in the day, but then turned out to be hated later on due to uh, other problems. But honestly, it's a really nice change to the game, and I really like this car. I remember I wanted to get it the first time I saw it when I started playing GTA V, and uh, I have it. I also decided to paint it up similar to the car from Wayne's World just for the sake of this video. Before I actually had a white and black paint job with tuna rims, but I think I'll keep this look. I like the look of the Wayne's World style look I gave to it, and I think I'll keep it. Anyway guys, this has been R. Sergeant Andreas, and I will see you guys next week. And yes, I'm going to do the gesture. I, I have finally bought a gesture. Um, so I'm not going to have to borrow somebody's car. Um, I'm definitely doing the gesture. And so I said last time I didn't get an accurate review because my friend's connection wasn't very good. So it looked like to me I was beating him with all my other cars. But in reality, I'm going to actually do some proper lap times with somebody with a better connection or something like that. So we can get a good idea of how good this car is. So... I think it's going to be a very good review. I hope you guys stay tuned to watch it. And um, that's it. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.